Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Spillway Suicidal. We don't have to play Elysium anymore, because we finally finished with that. That feels really, really good. It was a, uh... Cool map. We will probably almost never play on it again. Um, yeah. Kinda, kinda got my feel of that map now. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with uh, not touching it for, for at least a while. It's, it was, it was quite the, uh, the surge of Elysium gameplay as we went for this RNG uh, achievement, which was uh, a bit tedious and a bit unfun. Honestly, uh, it was a bit unfun. But we're here with literally anything else, and I'm having a good time again. Today is Monday. Today is the first day of the new channel's like video upload schedule. So the Vanilla Minecraft series went up on that channel. There is the same video on this channel with like a link and everything. Like, uh, I tried to make it real obvious that the, 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 the series is on the new channel. Go there instead. I hope I made it obvious enough. Um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 there. Hopefully it's going to be all nice and good and stuff. The, the first video of the Vanilla Minecraft single player series is up. The Serenity SMP is going to be going up on Friday. I haven't actually finished recording it even, so I have I have a bit of work to do there. Um, yeah, I had good fun editing the episode. I think uh, I think I did a good job of editing it. A lot of audio balancing as I was having to talk a little bit quieter at some point. Um, getting all of the the music kind of timed right and um, at the right audio level and all that. So I, I think I did a pretty good job of it. I think it's a, I think it's a pretty decent, just like Minecraft series in general. I think, I think the production quality is, is definitely more than you would expect from somebody who just uploaded their first video. <laughs> but uh, not necessarily equivalent to like professional YouTubers. But I, I think that it's, it's definitely there. I'm pretty pleased with what I've got out of it. Uh, again, it is a very targeted kind of content. It's not this rambly. Um, stuff that you get from the KF2, but it is it is very good content nonetheless if you like Minecraft. And I, kn I know that there are a number of you out there who do, okay? So go watch it. It's on the new channel. There's a link to the new channel in the description of every single video on this channel. So just, just go there and subscribe and watch the videos. They're there. I really want to make sure I'm mentioning that just like as often as possible, especially at the start. Um, so people can move on over and and find it because we're starting like a new channel and all that. It's it's a scary process, but regardless, it's it's there. So go have fun watching it, I guess. Please. In other news, in other news, it's well, it was another chess day. Really, I played it played a lot of chess today. Actually, won a lot of games. I'm up to 680, I think. Uh, rating on chess.com, so I'm approaching that 700 mark that I kind of thought I was, and I'm still winning most of the games that I play. Like if if we we, we, we can go take a look at it, even okay, we can we can go look at it together, okay? We can go look at it together. So if I do this one, I think. No, this one? Yeah, this one. You can see like all of these with the plus are wins and then these are draws. So I'm still winning like the majority of the games, especially like back here where I was like going through this like 500s phase. <laughs> it was like all wins. That's what I was saying. Like it kind of feels like smurfing a little bit because it's like now we're starting to get the, the higher level players, 620, 750, 700. This guy was really good actually. Well, no, actually he wasn't. I'm thinking of a different person. This person was good. This person, uh, it was actually kind of funny. Uh, in this game, at the end of it, I mated them, and they're like, "Wow, I, th I was wondering when you were gonna like see that and take it, because I I, uh, I took their queen early on. I, I trapped them, or I tricked them, or whatever. I, yeah, I trapped them, I guess, and I, I took their queen. So they're like, I was wondering when you were gonna find that. I didn't want to win because you got my queen, and I don't, I don't. I think you deserve the win. And I'm like. Yeah, I couldn't do that until you moved your knight, because he had a, uh, I guess, I guess we can go, like, just take a look at it. We can go literally just look at it. See if we can get it out here. So I want to go ahead and take a peek at, can I, like, 
take a look at this game, please. Yeah. Okay. Um, analysis, I guess. So we were, I guess we, uh, it was around like here. So right here, this is almost mate, but the issue is that you could move. So this is almost mate, but you could move this here, right? And then I can't take because then you can take um, unless this thing moves or this thing gets out of the way. So I moved my king here to get out of this. They moved their king, or knight in here. So I got out of that and then mated them. Uh, they should have pushed this or this or something. Uh, they didn't do that. They moved the, the yeah, they, they, they took the, the rook and then I got to, to mate them. And they're like, oh, I was wondering when you're going to find that. But I couldn't do it because this was... This, this knight was here and guarding this. So if I were to take that, they just take my queen. So it wasn't me. And they're being all like, you know, higher than thou kind of about it, which I'm like, all right, buddy. All right, buddy. You know, like, it's a little bit rude. You didn't give me the win. I took it. You didn't even see the win, all right? Uh, anyway, so you got uh, this person. I played a bunch of games against them. They gave me a... F it, it was... <laughs> It was kind of just me farming some elo, I guess, because I just kept rising in the elo by the end of it. Uh, they had to go and like take care of their kid or whatever. I added them, so I'm, I'm hoping that we get to have some fun with it. But I'm still kind of like, mm, I'm still kind of dominating. I think like my my win ratio is definitely. I'm not. I I, I feel like I'm above. I should. I'm, I'm below where I should be. I feel like I should be doing better. Um, I don't analyze all the games. I do analyze most of them, but some of them you just you go through it and you're like like eight moves. Do I have to do I have to analyze this? I don't even remember how this one went. I think they resigned really early on, and I'm like, well, I'm not gonna like do anything with that. Like I did uh, E4. Probably played a Vienna game. Yeah, Vienna. They took. I took back, and now I get to. This is you know doing this kind of thing and then I believe they castled and I got to take their queen so they resigned and I'm like yeah I don't, I don't need to I don't need to look at the <laughs> analysis of this like it's I did good <laughs> I uh yeah just just all really good stuff there so um anyway anyway enough of the chess I I am intending to record some chess videos I don't know which channel they'd go on but I'm intending to record some because I'm having a lot of fun playing it and I feel like I'm getting better to the point where I can actually start to like talk about my logic and stuff i'm not i'm not at the point where i always see the right thing like I'm, i could i could search through some of those games and find a, a game where I, I hung a queen or something too right blunder um the one loss against the uh, the guy that i was rematching was because i messed up a uh, pawn race i just i just like blundered it entirely i had i had my king it was in the right square I was able to defend against the pawn, and I just, like, didn't. And then they got the queen before me, they got to take my pawn that was racing, and I was like, yeah, no, that's a, that's a resigned situation for me. I don't know why I, uh, I don't know why I didn't, like, defend against the pawn to the... You, you defend against their thing, stop them from doing it. Because uh, all he had was a pawn and, uh, and a king, I believe. So you just get in front of their pawn, they can't do anything. Or beside the pawn, like... You know, in some way defend when the pawn becomes a queen, you can take it. Um, or, you know, you can take the pawn or whatever. You, know, you want to get in front of it, ideally. But um, I just, I didn't do that. They beat me to the to the race and I lost. So I'm not, I'm not a perfect player. Definitely sometimes my, uh, my, my thought process is just wrong. But I think I'm getting better. I'm definitely getting better. I've been playing the Stafford Gambit a little bit as well. And man, at, at this elo, it really just kind of wrecks them. It's it's like every time every time I'm playing black, and I, I get to play the Stafford Gambit, I end up like forking their king, or I end up forking their queen in a rook, just because like it always ends up that way. Uh, either that, or I fork their uh, their king and their queen, but. Uh, is it the king and the queen? I can't remember. I can't remember what the variations are. I'd, I'd remember it if I was playing, but... It's like every every single game that I get to play the Stafford Gambit, it, it works out great. The issue is that the Stafford Gambit isn't really something that you get to play too often on... Uh, at 700 ELO. 
because uh, like most people just aren't doing that. I feel like it's more of a trap that really works against like 1500 to maybe like 2000, 2500 in like blitz or something. But uh, even when it doesn't work, I feel like it's it still puts me in a pretty decent position when it doesn't work. So I've, I've been playing it a little bit. Um, slowly refining my defenses and my openings and and all that. Uh, and I'm getting better. I'm getting better for sure. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm gonna get up to a thousand. Honestly, it's gonna it's gonna take some time, but I I think I'm gonna be able to do it. I was I was a little bit concerned about being able to make it there. That's kind of my goal. Is a thousand. Um, I was kind of concerned about it, but I don't I don't think I I need to be. I think that it'll definitely happen now. I uh, I think that's kind of the level of player that I am. And just just playing a bunch of matches, and I'll get there. I think so. That's cool. But, uh, yeah. Played my mother today. It was funny. She actually... She was on her break, so she's like, I have ten minutes, I'm on my break. Quick, send me a chess match. <laughs> so you played a quick uh, ten minute aside chess match. I should have done Blitz instead of ten minute aside, because she had ten minutes on her break, so... Ten minute aside wouldn't have really worked, but... You know, whatever. And, uh... Yeah, I ended up. I ended up winning. I don't. I don't think she could really ever beat me. I'm playing far more chess than she is. She's only playing against me, and I'm playing against other people. So just kind of like, by default, I, I'm just always going to be better. But it's still fun. She's still learning. And uh, it's it's nice to see that uh, she messes. She went out of her way to message me on the break, wanting to play chess. That was good fun. It's fun. It's fun. It's it's fun playing against people who you get to destroy too, right? <laughs> it's fun having some cannon fodder every now and then. Um, no, she actually uh, she's she's a lot better than I thought she was. She like like I said, she'll probably never beat me. We might draw. Draws could happen. I don't I don't think she's ever gonna beat me, but she'd have to get lucky, or I'd have to like seriously blunder. And I've, I've blundered my queen a couple of times to her, and I've, I've still come out on top. It's, it's just it's just like chess is really one of those games where if you have the experience, you're like substantially better than somebody that doesn't. Even at like a material penalty, you're able to, to position yourself in, in such a way that you just have such an enormous advantage that uh, even that like material disadvantage uh, doesn't really like break the bank, you know what I mean? Uh... But, you know, I'd have, to, I'd have to blunder pretty badly or she'd have to get really lucky. Which would just be me blundering really badly. But it is good fun. She seems to be having fun as well. I mean, that's the thing with chess, right? Is even if you're losing, I think it's still fun. I, th I, think, I think that when I play a game of chess and I lose, I have a lot of fun because I get to see, oh, dang, I shouldn't have done that. You know, and the next time I don't do it and you keep on, like, messing up and slowly learn what you shouldn't be doing and you get to uh, kind of grow and it, it's a really satisfying experience so I think I think that uh, even though she'll probably never beat me she can probably beat the rest of my family just because we're playing chess and they aren't you know um, I don't I don't I think it would be a pretty even match um, between the rest of the family at this point, because she hasn't played that much chess, but if uh, if, if we keep it up, it, 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 she, she would definitely have a, a pretty substantial advantage, just because you get that experience from playing, and you know, you're like, okay, so I, I shouldn't do this, I, I should do that, uh, you know, I, I'm able to, to do this, because you're not going to take that, because I'm protecting it anyway, you're not going to put your queen out like that, and you kind of get this, this just general sort of, like, board sense, you know? So, uh, even, even though she's not, uh, and, and the only reason I say she's never going to beat me is because I don't think she's ever going to invest time to, like, actually learn openings and, like, do stuff. If she were going to invest that time and do what I'm doing to be a better chess player, then I, I think it would be a, a more even match. Because I don't think I'm that far ahead of her right now, but I'm, I'm growing faster than her, and I am ahead of her. So that, that gap isn't going to get smaller unless she speeds up, right? Um, it's, not an, it's not an insult on her, it's just... <laughs> 
I, I, I've been investing a lot of time into it. Anyway, it's been uh, it's been really cool. Probably gonna be breaking the 700 uh, elo mark tonight. Maybe if I play some more. I'm not sure if I will or not. But uh, I'll probably be breaking it uh, next time I play. Anyway, a couple of matches. I'll I'll win a couple and get above 700. Should be able to get to 800. I'm probably a better chess player than I give myself credit for. Is kind of what I'm learning. I don't think I'm uh, I'm that great, but I think I'm like maybe like a 900 or a thousand. Whereas before I was I was like I don't know a 900 or a thousand kind of scene, but I think I think that's right. I don't know. The uh, the alternative here is that just I was a 700 when I said, and I've learned and grown as a chess player, and now I'm 900 or a thousand. You know, because I have been investing time into it and, and learning new things and getting more experience and. Uh, just kind of overall, I, I get to be better. So, so maybe when I was saying that I was 700, maybe I was. And uh, now when I'm saying 900, maybe I am. And I mean, that's the thing with having like a really low rating in something like this. Is that I grow very rapidly, right? As a, as a chess player. I grow very, very rapidly as I learn things. And I learn techniques and tactics and strategies and ideas and I get the, the, the board sense and I'm making less blunders and, you know, like everything kind of grows very, very rapidly at this point. But my rating doesn't. My rating grows slowly. Um, so I'm still playing against people who were where I was before I learned all the stuff I learned. You know what I mean? So like the rating kind of grows not with me, but like behind me. Uh, and then, and then once you get to I don't know, maybe like 1,200, 1,300, it starts to kind of slow down, and you kind of start to match it a little bit more. But even then, it's it's going to be kind of falling behind. It's just the nature of the beast, right? As you as you learn things, you don't uh, you you can learn as much as you want without playing a game, even. And then you play a game, and your elo only goes up by like 10 points or something. That's not substantial. Like 680 and 700, I wouldn't say that the 700 player has an advantage because they're higher elo. I'd say they're even, you know? 20, 20 points isn't really that big a deal. So it's just, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I would, again, I, I really want to be playing higher, uh, higher ranked people just because I want to get my butt kicked. <laughs> I don't... You know, don't get me wrong, it's fun to be stomping like I am. Right? Like, that's fun. But sometimes, like, I want, I want my butt to get kicked. I want, I want to get my butt whooped. You know? That's how I'm going to learn. That's how I'm going to get experience. I don't, I don't really get much out of it. It's kind of it's like, it's like a grind, you know? Just grinding to get my rating up to the point where people are kind of even with me. Which is uh, a temporary problem. It's a, it's a temporary problem. After that kind of explosive growth, as, as a new chess player ends, it's, it's you know, the, the growth isn't growing that much quicker than ELO, so it's fine, but... It's, uh, especially right now. I, I can watch, like, a chess video on openings and grow, like, you know, 150 rating or something as a, as a player, but on chess.com they won't do that, you know, I have to actually like, play the games and, and raise, right? But uh, having that concept and knowledge and ideas and strategy and theory and all this is going to help me out a lot as a, as a player. It's, it just doesn't reflect on my rating, you know, it's, it's kind of the other way around. Which is disappointing, but I mean, it is the way it is. It's, it, again, it's just a temporary thing. In, uh, in a few weeks, maybe a month, I, uh, I should be pretty firmly at what my rating is, you know? I'll be able to look at my rating on chess.com and be like, yeah, that's probably like what I am, you know? But uh, right now, it's just... I mean, if I'm playing somebody who's the same rating as me, I feel like I should be trading blows. You know what I mean? As opposed to uh, winning unless I accidentally make a mistake. <laughs> and, like, not making a mistake that often. So it's just... Uh, just just mildly unfun at times. It, it feels like a grind, and I'm not, I'm not super into it. But, uh, again, it is fun. It is, it is still fun. And I am still learning things, even 
you know, as as somebody who is kind of stomping, I get to learn how to stomp harder. I don't know. It's not, it's not too often that I find somebody who's, uh... I mean, you, you saw the, the, the history of my games. It's just wins, dude. I'm not, I'm not talking out my butt here. It's like I have the data to back it up. It's not sandbagging or, like, gloating or anything. It's just, uh... I think, I think what happened was uh, when I first started, I was like playing really, really, really poorly. Because like when I st first started, I was like 300, right? And then I, I started watching chess videos and stuff and like investing time into it. I, I'm subscribed to Eric Rosen and I watch his videos. I'm subscribed to North Mine. I watch um, Gotham Chess and, you know, like I watch all these people and uh, study openings and, you know, like all this stuff. So like... I went from a 300 player to not a 300 player very, very quickly, and I'm still continuing to learn all these things, so it's just, it's just, it's just kind of messed my rating up. Just a little bit, just a little bit, just a wee smidgen. But that's okay. It's still fun. It's still fun. I'm still playing chess. I'm still learning. Not getting my butt whooped like I want. But, uh, I got some friends who are definitely better than me, so I might play them. Just to, to get my butt whooped. I'm feeling generous. Cause that's what that's what you want, you know. It's how you grow. Anyway, it felt good to not play Elysium today. Like my God. We're gonna do Steam Fortress tomorrow, maybe. I don't know. We'll do something. I haven't decided yet. Ashwood Asylum in classic Yamajack uh, fashion. Perhaps. But that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.